Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial from Max3D Design. And recently I have received a comment. I wish you would do a video of the vase creation as well. So today we're gonna make a vase. I will show you how to do it in create form, which is sculpting. And also another way is by creating a loft. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to enter create form menu. Now we are in sculpting mode. As you can see, all the icons have been changed. So I'm gonna create a sketch. On the XY plane. This is X axis and this is the green one is Y axis. So we're gonna choose this plane. And we're going to start sketch. So I will create center diameter circle directly in the middle of my origin. Let's say 80 millimeters. Enter. Then I will create fit point spline. Something like that. And I hit this check mark. And then I press escape to exit spline command. Then from create drop down menu, I have to choose circular pattern. Object will be our spline. Center point will be our circle center point. And then I'm gonna increase quantity. So let's say eight pieces and I hit OK. I press T to trim the sketch that I don't need. And then I hit Escape. Finish sketch. Then from create drop down menu, I will choose extrude. I will choose my sketch. And I will extrude it around 160 millimeters. Front faces, we will make four. And then we hit OK. So now we need to form a shape of a vase. So I double click on this edge. I enter edit form and I make it a little bit smaller. Then I double click on this edge, make it smaller. I double click on this edge, make it slightly smaller. I'll double click here, make it bigger. I can double click and then pull it a little bit larger, make it slightly bigger. Then I double click on this edge and I rotate a little bit like this. And I can rotate this edge like this. This edge is asking to be rotated also. And then I hit OK. So now we need to fill the bottom. So from modify drop down menu, I will choose fill hole. And then I double click on which hole I want to be filled. Maintain crease edges. And let's make it collapse. I hit OK. Then from modify drop down menu, I will choose thicken. I will choose our vase and I will make thickness of one millimeter. And then I hit OK and finish form. 
and as you can see the first example of the vase is ready so let's make it look nicely in render we choose appearance and we choose let's say glass medium color close scene setup background we can choose slightly brighter let's make it some reflections i like when the camera is 50 millimeters focal length Okay, let's see how it looks. Of course, in real life, I would readjust some settings. Let's say this t-spline, this t-spline, this t-spline, but make sure you do it before the actual thicken function. Okay, so let's make one more with some different style. So we're not going to enter create form. We're gonna start with a sketch on the XY plane. C for circle, 80 millimeters, enter, finish sketch, then we're gonna construct offset plane, let's say 80, okay, we're gonna create sketch on the new plane, Let's use this fit point spline and let's make some unique shape of this model. And we're gonna close the sketch. I'm gonna hit escape to exit spline command. I'm gonna readjust a little bit my sketch. I can click once and use these green lines to adjust my sketch with an angle. So as you can see some unique shape appearing. I press finish sketch. Then I'm gonna create one more offset plane. So I press here offset plane I choose XY plane from the origin and I'm gonna make 160 millimeters high okay then I'm gonna create sketch on this new plane I'm gonna choose fit point spline again and let's try to make it slightly coming out from From the previous sketch something like that escape to exit spline command and then we readjust it a little bit something like that will be perfect i press finish sketch so now we have three sketches on different levels so now from create drop down menu i'm gonna choose loft i'm gonna choose the very first sketch oops sorry i clear every all the profiles i'm gonna choose very first sketch then i'm gonna choose second sketch and then i'm gonna choose our third sketch 
and I hit OK. Then we're going to use shell command and we choose this face. Let's make it also two millimeters. I'm going to hit OK. And now we are having another vase. So let's try to render this vase also. And as you can see, we have our second vase ready. It's pretty much easy, very simple to make, especially with the second option. But the first option, it has a little bit more flexibility. And the second option, it's more simple and fast way. Thank you for watching and have a great modeling.